remember tumbling down the hill. It's just tree after tree after tree. We were just hitting them head on. I just remember waking up and being in the passenger seat next to my mother. I remember not knowing what to think, looking at my mom and just kind of thinking she was asleep. I didn't, didn't think anything more than that, at least not that I remember. I, I remember seeing lights. I just remember that, that there was something there. There was something right next to the car the entire time next to my mom. I have a very um, distinct and vivid picture of it in my head. I mean, it was just a light. It, it was a big light. And then through the back window of the car itself, I could also see the same thing next to the road. and it, it had a, a silhouette. There was no specific features, but I, I saw a lighted outline of a body. It was never something that scared me, and I didn't feel afraid when I saw it. Two weeks later, Brent and I decided to go to the crash site to see if there was anything else that was left down there behind that were Chris's. We wanted to make sure that we got everything out of there. And as I got out of the car, there was a little mile marker. It said uh, 60 miles but they were pointing to Plasville. Then I knew that my sister didn't have a dream, it was a premonition. The number 16 kept popping up. And it all started making sense as I started adding the pieces. When you put all of the pieces of the puzzle together, you take the dream that my aunt had, the apparition sighting that Deborah Hoyt did see. I just saw that woman on the side of the road. And the lights that, that I did see around the car. It had to have been an angel. Whether it was God's hand or just a mother looking after her son, I honestly don't know. But it was something. It was something greater than, greater than me, greater than anything that I've ever believed. I absolutely think something special happened here. People have asked before, is this some kind of a miracle? Yeah, I think it is a miracle. It's a whole number of a series of events that I can't explain, and I, I don't know. I've often thought about it. I just don't have the answers. <laughs>